Hello everyone! Uh, this video we're going to be doing a review of uh, Bella and Duke's raw dog food. We've signed up this one here. Come here, Carla. Up here. We've signed this one up for a trial. Half price on Bella and Duke. So we're going to see what uh, Carla and, and Trisha think of this. Gone to their website. We've put in Carla's details. Uh, her age, her size, health. And they've come back to us with what they think is the best food for Carla. Bella and Duke, they do raw food. It's going to be a raw diet, she's, um, which is going to make a change from the, the chappy and the kibble that she's been having recently. So in, in the package that we saw and wrapped, so we've got, how many of these have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've got 16 containers of food, just like this one. This one, duck, but we've got other flavours. We've got chicken, duck, turkey, fish, beef, lamb, tripe and salmon. I don't know all these exotic flavors. I think they're for human benefit. I don't really know if Carla, if she cares whether she's eating duck, salmon, or beef. She just wants food. I think same for Trisha as well. I think they're on really just to make it look more appealing for humans when they're when they're buying. So in their package, we've got all the food. We've got a little bit of information. Vet support. Yeah, wonderful. We can have live chats with a vet apparently. Surely that can't be free, is it? Phone and live chat. Video conferencing. Well, yeah, so they say we can apparently have a chat with a vet if we need to. Hopefully, we won't need to. Carla and Trisha are both fairly healthy. We've also got a free gift, a free introductory gift. It's a lovely blue towel, which is actually pretty good. Won't, won't turn my nose up at that, especially in winter, every time the dogs come out, go out for a walk and come back in, they end up filthy, especially Trisha. She's a bit smaller, lower centre of gravity, she's closer to the mud, and that mud sticks to her like glue, unfortunately. So a lovely towel, uh, that's uh, much appreciated. So this food, so as I say, it's raw. It's meant to be good for their health, good for their coats, good, good, nice, shiny coat. They also say that 99% of their customers reckon that their dogs do a, a better poo when, after they've had this food. And they also get less wind, and that's particularly important for Carla, because Carla is a very windy dog. She's always farting, she's always letting off wind, very unladylike. So we're going to give Carla and Trisha a go with this food, so as I say, the... The price is it's, it's not cheap. They're charging for eight kilos, sixteen of these, sixteen of these boxes, sixteen of these containers. Uh, normal price, they're going to be charging forty six pounds, which is pretty pretty expensive. Actually, although it's, in fairness, it's not not too dissimilar to say. I think I think the closest thing we've used to this is butternut box. Which was a big hit. Trisha especially liked the butternut box, and she's the she's a fussy eater. She's she's the sort of dog that if she doesn't like it, she'll leave it, and then she'll only eat it when she's hungry. The butternut box, though, for this one, that was devoured straight away. So we're going to see how this Bella and Duke product compares. So I think for us, I think the butternut box is the is the most similar comparison. So. You'll know, put some of these in the fridge, let them thaw out, and we'll try these two girls on this food uh, later on. See you later. Okay, so we're going to try the dogs on, on their first Bella and Duke meal today. We put this one in the fridge overnight to defrost it. Got chicken. So this is going to be... Uh, and open and reveal. Let's see what's inside this. How do I open this damn thing? Here we go. Hmm. Looks. Looks truly delicious. Let's get it. Let's, let's get this prepared. We're going to give it to Trisha first. Let's see how it is. Is it? Has it defrosted all the way? You know what? I'm thinking I'm going to stick this in the microwave a bit. Okay. It looks like it's. This has been in, it's been in the fridge overnight, still feels a little bit 
like it could thaw out a bit more inside. So I'll so put this in the in the microwave just for a little bit. And then I taste it. Let's have a little taste, see what it's see what this chicken is like. Hmm. Could do with a bit more seasoning. It's not quite KFC standard. But I don't know. I think Trisha will not be so fussy. Let's put in a serving for Trisha. I think that'll do for, think that'll do for her for now. Let's see what she thinks of this. Come on, Trisha. Okay. Yeah. What do you think of this, Trisha? Well, okay, she's going for it. I think, okay, Canada. Oh, well, no, Trisha's not, not giving the, this, the seal of approval. That's your problem, Trisha. No. Okay, Carla. No, no, and Trisha's the true test because if Trisha's more of a fussy eater, she's eaten other stuff, but in that box, she had that all in one. This, she's, well, let's see what she does later. Let's see if, see if Carla wants to eat her. Go on, Carla. Go on, come on. Carla will eat anything. No, no. Yeah, and she'll eat it on the floor as well. Come on. Chris is still not having it. She's getting a bit closer. She's a bit curious about what Carla's eating. Is she going to... Go in now. Carla doesn't. She used, didn't used to like sharing her food, but she's not not so bothered now. But yeah, Carla. Well, I said before, Carla's not not the best way to judge food because she'll eat anything. She's permanently hungry. And this one, she's making short work of. Trisha. No. Come on, Carla. I Trisha. Come on. <laughs> it's enough. It's just, uh, I think. Oh, come on. Oh. Trisha. You going now, Trisha? Give okay, it. now she's now she's on it. Now that Carla's done the dirty work, Trisha's prepared to go in. Let's see how much of this she take she finishes. And Carla's still Looking on in, she desperately wants to have another go, but Trisha's. I think she's going to finish this off. Let's see how far she goes. And Carla's showing a hell of a lot of self restraint here. Because she knows not to barge in when Trisha's eating, but she, can she control herself while she's picking up the scraps off the floor? She desperately wants in though, but we're not going to let her. Sorry, Carla. Trisha has pretty much finished what she had. Carla's still going in for, no. the, for the scraps Carla. on the floor. So, well, we'll try them again tomorrow with different flavour. See how Trisha, maybe after she's had this one today, she'll be more confident having it tomorrow, different flavour. See what she thinks of that. Trisha, oh she's a good, oh she's a good girl. Trisha, no she's not interested. Now she's gonna lick off that bowl. Good girl. Okay, we're on day two of Bella and Duke. Today we're gonna try tripe. Yuck! But oh, I say yuck. I've never, I've never, I don't think I've ever eaten tripe before. Let's see what this stuff is like. Again, it's been left overnight to defrost. I think it may need another. Just a quick whiz in the microwave. Let's 
interesting. So, yeah, I think we can yeah stick that in the microwave a little bit. We we'll see there it's it looks pretty much identical to the chicken. I think you can see the bits of vegetable they've got in there. So let's let's give this a quick blast in the microwave just to finish off the defrosting, and then we'll see what the dogs think of this. Thawed out a bit more. Okay. So, so I'm going to try this. I've never eaten tripe. Well, I don't think I've eaten tripe before. It doesn't get a good press. Let's see what dog food tripe tastes like. Oh, <laughs> bloody stinks. Yuck. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay. Let's get Trisha's portion in. Sorry about this, Trisha. This is disgusting, but maybe rather you than me. Get it mashed up. Trisha doesn't like big food. She likes things that will fit easily in her mouth. Oh, you smell it? In a minute, Carla. I'll have your turn. Come Trisha, you're gonna you're going to eat. Oh. Okay, Carla. Carla. Oh, Trisha has turned her nose up at the tripe. Come on, then, Carla. Carla is well in. I think Carla loves that. I think she's not eaten for a year the way she's going at that. Oh, well, Trisha looks interested now. You going in, Trisha? You going in? Go on, go on, Trisha. Come on. Uh, Trisha's out of the camera. She looks interested, but she's. Oh. Oh. Trisha won't eat all of that. a little bit, gave it her seal of approval. She likes it, I don't know why, but she needs to tell her to go in first. She's not confident enough to just go in and take it first time round. But the button-up box, she would. She'd be straight in with the button-up box. So I don't, don't know where this ranks. Not quite not quite as good as the button-up box, I, I don't think, for as far as Trisha's concerned, as far as Carla's concerned, anything goes. And she's wolfed off Trisha's leftovers. Well done, Carla. You know. We're back. We've been giving these to the Bella and Duke food for two days now. We've they've had the chicken, and earlier they had the tripe. How lucky are they? I don't know any dogs which get treated as well as that. So. What do we think of the Bella and Duke product? Carla, as I said before several times, Carla's the one who will just, she will, she will eat without thinking. She'll put anything in her mouth. She'll swallow anything. She's she's not the best judge as to how how, how good the food is. Really, we, we look at this one, Trisha, because she's she's the, she's more particular about her, what goes, what she eats. If, if she doesn't like it, she'll leave it and she'll come back to it. And oh, she's, by God, she's tired. And so I think with Trisha, with this Bella and Duke, it's it's hit and miss. She's not, she doesn't want to go for it straight away, which is completely different to the button-up box. With button-up box, she was into that Im immediately. Um, this one, Carla's, Carla's had to take the lead. And then when Carla's had her fill, I think that's then spurred Trisha on to think, bloody hell, if I, if I don't eat now, Carla's going to finish a lot of it. So so I think, yeah, say health-wise, I, I, so I think the Butternut Box and the Bella and Duke products, they're, they're both fairly similar. They're both good quality foods, got natural ingredients, bit of vegetables, 
bit better than your off the shelf dog food in the supermarket but just on taste on, on how, how the dogs appreciate it I think we've got to say the butternut box is better than Bella and Duke and that's of this one's opinion off by that's according to Trisha and so if we were to order it again so that's that's where the that's where the big bucks come in it's going to be 45 46 pounds if we order it again similar price for the butternut box and if we're paying that much I think we'd have to go with the one that's been a proven winner the butternut box so if you can get the Bella and Duca at a discount at their trial price yeah go for it that's not a bad deal still more expensive than off the shelf dog food but as a as a treat healthy treat I think it's definitely worth it if you're going long term getting that stuff every month paying full work I think our choice would be the butternut box but the Bella and Duke it's you know each dog is individual maybe your dog is different taste to Trisha maybe they prefer the, the Bella and Duke but for us butternut box wins out bye, bye.